そして美しい二人とも正解だしかもとんでもなく貴重だったここ以外で取れたって話は聞いたことがねえ俺は昔鉱山で働いてたからよこの業界はじっとばかり詳しいぜじゃあミスリル探すあんまりおすすめじゃねえなシンナの技術で似たようなものを作れるようになったんだとてつもなく硬くてキラキラしたものをよマテリア生成の応用だろうなへえー、そうなんだ多分多分 Hello everyone friends my name is Bay This is my forehead and this is chapter 3 hard mode in Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth but I'm bad a not so light commentary playthrough where uh it's just like a regular playthrough where I talk and it's a live stream too so I answer questions and we we pal around about ideas and things but this is chapter 3 this is uh deeper into darkness each of these blocks should be a entire chapter also you know what I'm noticing? I don't know if it's just the way it's said in slang, but the one time that Aerith does it in the cutscenes talking to Sid after he comes down with the tiny Bronco, and instead of saying probably, she says probably. Like it's kind of cute and silly, which clearly comes from the default text, which I guess they're using a word in Japanese that is probably adjacent, but maybe slang or less formal. Because in all the subtext even just barrett just said it right there it's probably p-r-o-b apostrophe l-y probably instead of probably which is the actual word now i'm wondering it's just it's just a cute little thing i've noticed about some of the translation Eyebrow flicker animations are so good. こういう場所の歩き方にはちょっとしたコツがいる。素人は悪いが足手まといだ。私も行こう。多少心得がある。<笑>じゃあお願い。ごめんね。うん。うん。ありがとう。あ。Squad, roll out. I don't think anything in here should be unscanned. What did we say my first like enemy intel that I needed was? Yeah, Junon stuff. And that's after the parade. And then the Dawnberry, which is chapter eight. And the Dawn Tar, I think, which is also chapter eight. They're pretty good. Oh, Cac Cacneo. Also chapter eight. And then Dine, which is chapter seven? Nine? Chapter nine? Dine for nine? Nine and nine? And then really the end of the game. <laughs> like the fifth phase of the end boss. Okay. Don't have a whole lot to, to scan. Did a pretty dang good job of it our first go through. Is it a healing material? Yep. 
crab. We are about to fight crab. Good hustle, Cloud. The, the balancing in hard mode is so weird. Like almost all like regular enemies are complete trash. And the rare hunt mob enemies can two shot you. And the bosses are probably the most fair, I guess. But you have to put the right buffs up and stuff. So we're in a corridor section. There actually should be Mako shards and bottles of ether that you can't even use. How much gill are you back up to? Casual half a million. <laughs> we did give 104,000 gill to uh, Chloe at the ranch. <laughs> yes, it is a Mako shard. They do exist. <laughs> Normally notice them in normal mode. Ah, uh, yes, these guys are probably going to be uh, a different story. Oops. Hmm. So I remember what the way to go is. It's pretty one sided, I if I remember correctly. Get petrified in the air. Good stuff. Hello again, Q. Hello, R4. Anyone else out there that's being lurkers? We've got plenty of lurkers that never say anything. I'm not here. I'm not sure if they're here for the V necks, the forehead. They're definitely not here for the gameplay. That's why this series is called But I'm Bad. I get frustrated sometimes and get stuck on some things. It's just only natural. We're almost done with all the hard stuff. We're going to do some. We definitely have a handful of. Uh, combat sims to do with 13 of them i don't really know if i'll make a video about those so if you want to watch them stop by the live stream granted i will be doing quote unquote optimal strategies for most of them <laughs> I was thinking the other day, turning off the auto pickup craftables because it does make that noise a lot and I don't need any of it because everything every almost every single craftable item in the game that I have the materials is all at 99 but for those that actually speak watching the live version of this do you care about the ding 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 in the background whenever I'm walking past stuff or should I just turn it off because it like literally doesn't matter 
Oh, let's just turn it off. Cloud doing his best uh, Kratos impression. Did not mean to jump up there already. Maybe okay, I just should have. Oh, also, we're, we're doing Aerith in this playthrough. We did Tifa in the original one, which was all by design. We're going to focus on Aerith in this one. I need to go down here for something first. switch or a key or something that was down right here. I'm going to fight two of the ogres now. トンの人たち見失っちゃったね。いつでも追いつける。また落ちたりしてなきゃいいけど。うん。ATB and then Kate Sith. That's tough. Raising Tifa's limit break limit is a strange statistic. She's usually in party with Aerith, so might as well have something. And then Barrett had 25, because we just got a manual for him. Yeah, we'll head toward his final node. And red's got nothing. Right. Everything's at least like 15 most of the time. This is already the Turks. 
My god. でのいや。あいつは退屈してるさ。うん。そうかもですね。どうしたんです? <laughs> See? Probably. Probably. Probably.先輩、あのですね、私正直納得してないんですけど、あの黒マンと追跡して何か意味あるんですか？上からの命令だ。俺たちタックスにとってはそれが全て。うわ、仕事人間登場。でもあいつ、もう助かりませんよ。ひどい。誰だ。いい耳だ。ごめん。ああ。はあ。<笑><笑> See what I mean about Japanese slang? The translation is no freaking way. All she's doing is going, ah! <laughs> That's just so much different, like, slang inflection oriented. I call them linkisms in anime. It's so good. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, got stunned. True, sentence structure is quite inverted in Japanese. That's that's also true. Also true, also true. Oh my god, Rue got destroyed, man! That bursted the hell out of that guy. Oh, 
Oh my god! They were not ready. They were not ready for that, Jelly. Who makes their suits to be fireball and spellproof? I mean, Shinra does, obviously. お前たちが始めた戦争だ。うちも色々あって状況が変わった。お前たちは賞金首だが、今後我々の邪魔をしなければ見逃してやる。上からやろ、ソリ。エアリスをよろしくな。ああ。ギリナ。<笑><笑> I don't know why they're afraid of like a nine mil Glock. Wait, Glocks are nine mil. Wait, five two five? What's a regular Glock? Oh, nine millimeter? I thought they were smaller than that. I thought they were smaller bullets because it's just like a, a you know normal sized hand cannon. こんな連中を大勢見たことがある。北条のところだ。柔道の魔法中毒らしい。信頼。しかし、揃ってあいつ。Right, the big man and the cat dog. I'm ready to hold square a lot. Hold square the chapter. Satisfying, but I don't need the stuff. Blizzard and Thunder on, but it's fire. Let's check. They're immune to ice. Okay. That's the wrong button. Touch Q. Clear. 
Right spell equipped, just start us, Ray Forehead. The growl sounds so fake. Well, it is a human being making the growl noises. Although it wasn't as jarring with the English. It's definitely a little bit more cartoony with Japanese Nanaki. It sounds a lot more like a man making cat noises. Rawr, rawr, rawr. You know what I mean? I don't know if they mix it differently with how they did the English. I mean, but again, it's, it is a, a man talking through a cat dog. That's why I'm really curious what his actual voice sounds like, not his fake I'm an old man voice. You don't really work in here though, probably. It's just like a lot of this. It's just gonna be so much stagger. Like that right there. You, you just, it is a little more silly. Man out here just going, all right, make your, your cat dog noises. Fight sounds. We're going to do an hour of fight sound, uh, fully. <laughs> it's like the best one. It also is possible that the English voice actor just does cat noises better. English voice actor of, of Red 13 and Nanaki Furry confirmed. It's fine. Maybe he's got a lot more experience doing it from other roles. I don't know. Well, Barrett goes in. That animation with that hand cannon is so sick. Oops, it reset. There we go. They are can pump. I usually never put him in my party though. He is the fastest ATB builder in the game outside of cheese methods. His natural ATB building is the fastest. That's more a rebirth thing, not a remake thing, because they changed how ATB works and scales in this game. They basically nerfed all ATB gen because of synergy abilities. But then certain characters that just attack more, like every bullet Barrett fires gives him ATB. So. Yes?
Yeah, it's like it's 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 not like he's when he does vengeance mode stuff. That's fine. I mean, I'm not going to really mainline Nanaki outside of the few times you have to. Which is only in... It's this part of this chapter. The Cosmo Canyon chapter. The end of the game when you get split up again. And then his solo duty. He's, he's a fun fight style though. I think he actually really comes together if you really enjoy him. And Stardust Ray is absolutely cracked. Like what? What's what's enemy's weakness? I don't know. What is he? Does he physical weak? Magic weak? Does he have an elemental weakness? I don't know. Just Stardust Ray forehead. That, that that's basically Nanaki's thing. Is just Stardust Ray. It does so much non-elemental damage. It's just absolutely busted. And it AOE's. <laughs> you can really play into. Nanaki's strength and just because he does a lot of passive stagger, just like Tifa. He's a stagger builder. He doesn't add stagger modifier, but he does build stagger quite fast. So if you have like a build like with Kate Sith who can add stagger and then you use red to build it, you could totally make a and red's a big thing too. He can just he can block and heal a whole group like prayer. He can block and give the whole group haste so, and he can block and give the whole group ATB. He's so supporty. It's wind on this guy. And then you do this. What's the weak against? I don't know. Stardust Ray? Probably. I don't know how many times it hits. It hits every half second. Maybe 10 times for like 500 damage right now. So it's just like 5,000-ish damage in an AoE. And it kind of locks the targets in place because it pulls like a black hole. Some of the combos I've done before is you, you do clouds hold combo where he spins because this this the sword spin pulls things together in front of him you line up a stardust ready to hold things there and then you like fire aga or an aga spell in that clump so everything hits if you then aga with magnify you hit three targets but each of those three targets hit the other two targets each so the multiplicative effect of all that stacking aoe damage is just blender for most things it doesn't really work on bosses but he's good. I'm just saying he's he's good. Like every character, Kate's is probably the weakest character, I think. But all you do with him, he is the king of status effects. The absolute king of status. Because he has he has 60% bonus detrimental status effects within in his kit. No one else can do that. <laughs> So like his slow, his stop, his poison, his sleep, his uh, defaith, de braver, de shell, de protect all last the longest in the game. Kate is big on debuffing enemies and buffing allies. I actually really like the combo where he does, you juice him to three ATB. You build all three of them. You roll the dice, roll the dice. One auto attack or so to get halfway up the next ATB bar. ATB boost back to three. Roll the dice, roll the dice, roll the dice. So you just do a lot of damage. You heal your teammates. Uh, we are already on this track. Okay. I don't think this chest is worth anything, but. No. Yeah, there's builds for everyone. It does just seem like the end game is just have Aerith stacked in an ATB and Arcane Ward. Not ATB. 
I forgot. It's the two wards. The one that makes her immune to spellcast interruption. And the one that makes her double cast. With the Genji gloves. Yeah. You just, just have her completely blow people up with 30 to 30 to 60,000 bursts of elemental damage. Or Yuffie, since Yuffie's the only character, again, that can quad cast. Because you, you use Yuffie, you doppelganger, you stand in an arcane ward. So Yuffie casts a spell twice, and so does the doppelganger. So you get four spells for the price of one. Which is stupid damage. You can do Genji Gloves on her, for example. Doppelganger always does less damage, though. I think it's like 40% or half damage or something like that, though. So you basically get three casts of the spell. Two at full power, one and a half. Hello. A moment. Sound effect sounds okay. Some are not not as great. Definitely has a rare to him though. Oh god, rock physics. Oh, like styrofoam. Oh, okay. Whoa! Yo! Question is, is this cause of the VA or because Red, thir Red 13 is making the noises to sound cooler? Uh, yeah, also true. Is it, yeah, is it the voice actor not being great at making cat noises, cat dog noises, or is it because 
it's supposed to sound stupid because instead of that's the weird thing about as these crawlers slowly descend from the heavens to run a smackdown so do you think his vocal ranges aren't that of a normal cat dog so he doesn't just have like the ability to to roar and growl and blah, 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 because he's the, the the race he is because i'm assuming his his race of humanoid cat dogs just can talk so do they, they do they go from like lion king style where they can talk like a human and then roar like a like a lion or do their vocals just not have that so they are just like a human making cat noises so is that actually just totally on brand then that's a good that's a good question the way to solve the puzzle right and over there was just a chest it's gonna have some gill in it i think but double check that's a good it's a good point that actually makes me think a lot of that now maybe that's just on it's supposed to be like that he's supposed to sound silly it's very possible that that Nanaki's, you know, watchers of the veil, the race of cat dogs that they are. Although we only ever see Seto, right? We never see like any of the other members of his bloodline, just his dad. Uh, is he the last of his kind now because of his father being petrified that's actually another good question i don't know all of his lore it's not explained to us in the game it's not okay yeah i don't know that's a that seems like a uh final fantasy wiki google foo experiment or if you're listening to this right now in the future on youtube do you know leave a comment leave leave a copy pasta of is Nanaki, the last watcher of the veil. But I think in the end credits of the original game's timeline, there is that one scene where older Nanaki is up there with his pup cubs on the cliff. So he clearly procreated, so they are more after this, all this happens. So he finds a mate, you know, and, and carries on the, the bloodline. That's that future, that, that one, there's like one cutscene. If I'm remembering it all correctly. Again, it hasn't been a long time. And I don't know if you know this, there's a lot of lore in Final Fantasy VII, just seven just this one game's overall story oh is it running through a desert he's not on like a hilltop Oh, there is a cliff as well. <laughs> it's, uh, 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 okay. こちらからは開けられないようだ。そっちで開けられねえか。やってみる。助かったぜ。2000だね。
We're gonna take a sit, get some free HP. Do Barrett sits down like a man with some weight on his shoulders. He just totally collapses into that bench. Is it a healing material? Oh, lightning. Oh, it's is the next boss is weak to lightning. Yeah, I already set this up. I don't need to do anything. I need a pressure with lightning, which then makes him susceptible to physical attacks. I believe that's what it is. I just have the boss dossier on my other monitor, so I can just look at... Instead of going into the enemy intel every damn time. Can't slow. Can stop, though. So I want to stop at a stagger window to get more time. Can sleep. Can stop. Nothing else. Weak to lightning. Resistant to physical. Because he's a giant rock monster. This might hurt a bit, though. I'm sure he's going to do a lot of physical damage. <laughs> the pressure is head, right? Yeah. breaks his head here. Oh, yep. Good. Ha! <laughs> what the hell is that? What is that animation? That's <laughs> so, <laughs> so funny. Health gate. Can yeah, you get some more armor? Yeah. Oh wow, that's way more damage than I thought it was. Okay, so I want to dodge that. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's right, all those rocks look. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Didn't go off. That is not good. 
don't know if I can actually stop him in this form. I want to break his arm though for sure. Oh, I did. Didn't melt, didn't go off. I have to break his head before I can break his... Oh, Barrett has the res. This might be a restart. Oh yeah, you have to do it. You have to hit its head again. Okay. All right. Well. Give me one v one. Find out. Crackling horn would work here. Oh, do that much damage. Can't see. <laughs> Too big, man. That doesn't seem good. Ooh. I never saw all these moves when I originally fought him. Oh yeah, restart. That's a lot of damage. I don't know what it's unaspected, I think. Okay. So I put I put the heal on red, but the res on Barrett. Definitely want to de brave and defaith this one. Because it looks like he does a mix of both. That's fine. Phase one was super easy. I'll save my my uh oh. Oh, still hit me. Unfortunate. Mean to slow, right? Yeah. No, you know if resist will stop the non-elemental. I don't think it will matter. This might not cast in time. Oh, it did. I just wanted to push it to that. Oh, 
This kind of. Go to this next phase. Not waste anything. I thought the health gate would be later. So I gotta pressure the head, then break the. If I can just break the spines. I don't know. I can try. Might still have to pressure the head. What the hell? Well then. That is a surprising amount of damage. My targeting. Really? Man. Okay. So I just got to go with that with two ATB on uh, red and just pop his head so I can actually break his spines. A lot of damage for two people. Sounds like a lot of damage for two people. He do be walking. <laughs> he do be walking. <laughs> Oops, that's wrong. I, I thought I had maximum fury on. To do some damage here, I guess. I don't want to use a lot of stuff here because I want two. No, I didn't even pop him that time. Hmm. Interesting. It doesn't head form yet. Oh, he still does it regardless. Okay. Only problem is that his head is being blocked. Hurt his arm a lot. Okay. Oh, 
She broke his head too. I can't block that. I'm holding block the whole time. Should just AOE his body parts. Yeah, I think he break his head too. Thank you. No. He did not. I was so far from that man. It did break his head. Hmm. Red just basically has to only heal. I mean, I have to change around what, who uses what. This is kind of whatever. Good. I don't think stop will work on him again, though. Should target the head. I don't think it's matter. He's so big. Use retaliation more. Good. 
Actually work on red? Oh! Would you look at that? I guess I gotta go for his head again. I kind of don't want to waste this, but target his head. Get by crush. It's regular attack maybe, but not that. Uh, nor that. Ah, oh, man, come on. Come on. I feel like I did like the exact same like pattern of dodging. Maybe I just moved too slowly. What? Wow. Okay. Ah, did you see that? I don't know. Kind of seems worth it. Get the hell out of there. Nari Hibke. Damn, okay. I okay, wasn't had the optimal setup for that. Or I should have used more of Red's um block block retaliates. Need to move. Okay. Maybe we need to have a uh, protect shell. Would have been better. Just have protect on uh, red and just stayed on him. Because you could... These types of... When your party gets split apart. You can easily just give them elemental materia. Move your materia from other characters. You know, make sure you have your magnify. You could, you could remove all your materia every combat. But... These, these first few chapters, I don't want to move every single time we have different combat breakdowns. I kind of want to just have everyone have a build. I know later on encounters, I'm going to have to probably move stuff around. Probably chapter 9 and beyond, but right now, just kind of jamming. That's no big deal to have a, a reset. Just do a quick reset and you're good to go. Hello. You. Yo. Also got them. Deke misery to miss it and mega crunchy Mateo. No. Coco eats Kazir Kawakarnai. He saw it at Hawaii. Demo Shinla Nibasho Shirati. Machibes is a little commissary. Oh, 
あれを見ちまったからな、うん、俺たちの使命は星を守る。神羅が邪魔するなら戦うしかねえ、うん、クロマントの連中を追いかけようおそらくセフィロスとつながっている They were back. I don't think there's much more to this chapter to be honest because once we get to three to Junon that's it I think it starts the next chapter this is a quick one Mostly it was Mithril Golem, because it's a 2v1 fight. Oops. Why are they attacking Tifa? Alright, want to attack Tifa? Alright. Uh, Alright. First off, can't see a damn thing. In the sauce there. Maybe having Barret. Barret doesn't really have a lot of. Red has the extra synergies with healing. Barret really. Uh, he has one, but it's. The reason why I put res on one and heal on the other, knowing that they were going to be in a 2v1 situation, is because I'll be able to switch to both of them and not have one have to use both both their ATB in case of a, a res and a heal situation. But I can see how Barret having the heal is probably more beneficial than... ...than Namaki, I guess, because of just ATB generation. But then Nanaki can actually get his mana back hmm. with his Obi Wan. Nope, that's it. Oi. Yeah. Miru. Shinra. Inai mitai. Ah. Bird. そんな。泣けてくるぜ。あそこ行くのかな。神羅の要塞都市ジュノンだ。That was chapter three, hard mode. Definitely a little spicy on the Mithril Golem, but if you've been watching live, hope you're enjoying it. If you're watching on YouTube, hope you watch more. All of the main game is on the channel. Some side stuff on the channel. Also going up on the channel, got Final Fantasy 16, all of seven, all of the intermission DLC, all of Dark Souls one, two, and three, all of Bloodborne, all of Elden Ring, all of both God of War recent games and Valhalla, the DLC to God of War Ragnarok. Both of the Jedi games, Fallen Order and Survivor, a whole bunch of stuff if you want to watch more RPGs. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Welcome to Junon.